Hello everyone, welcome to the Tech Eddie Show. I'm your host, Eddie Ray, and this is the featured app of the week where I handpick a smartphone app that's either useful or fun. In fact, sometimes both, but today I got a really useful Compass app for you. It sounds kind of lame, but it's very, very useful and I'll show you why, so stay tuned. Okay, so here we are at the featured app of the week. It is called Just a Compass, and that's exactly what it does. It may sound a bit boring, but this is a very useful app, and I like to feature apps on this program that I use on a regular basis, this being one. So search for Just a Compass in Google Play. This is free with no ads. There is some in-app purchases here, but again, there's no ads in the app whatsoever. So click on Install, then Open. And of course, we're greeted here. Make sure you turn on Location Services. Uh, that way you get totally accurate information here from the compass. So as it says here, enable location services. You want to get true north for geographic locations, true altitude as well, current position coordinates, sunrise and sunset times, and current address. Click on allow access and allow. And here we go. So here is the compass. Uh, it did say in the tips here somewhere or the setup instructions uh, to kind of reset things. Uh, to kind of move your phone kind of like a figure eight like this a little bit uh, each time you use it it kind of centers the compass all the sensors and stuff in your phone and right now we're going to find north here so north would be going a little bit this way here this house is actually built due north from front facing to backwards facing that way so there we go that's cool i've actually used this compass app quite a bit the last couple of weeks uh, it's good because uh, I had to find where north was while setting up a weather station on the shed here of the house. And of course it has a weather vane, a wind vane on it. And you wanna make sure that's directionally appropriate. And we had to find north, so I used this compass app to find that. I also set up a uh, cell phone signal booster antenna and I had to locate the local cell tower and also the direction for that. So I also use this to help locate directions again for north, south, east, and west. What I like about this is it also has your sunrise, sunset times at the top. Sorry, in the top left, we have 5.36 a.m. for sunrise and sunset 8.38. This is also very useful if you're hiking or something like that. Also has your elevation there in the middle. Right now we're at 764 feet. You see here as I move around, it is very accurate with my slow movements here. And again, if you're very steady with it here, you can go true north. There we go. Not bad. Now down below, it does have your longitude and latitude. You can also share that, of course, as well, with a little sharing icon there. Click on that. And you can share it across social media, email it to people, whatever you want to do with that. It's kind of a cool little feature. And it, of course, has a local address of where you're at below. And that, of course, is where we're at right now in Moton, Pennsylvania. All right. A little map icon there. Kind of centers your position, kind of um, refreshes your current location, longitude, latitude, and also your address. It's also a little palette icon there. There's some different skins here. Uh, these skins actually cost money. So you get the basic skin here, this red and gray kind of white scheme, which I like a lot. Looks pretty good. Uh, these other ones here cost a few bucks. It's like $1.99 per skin. So there you go, you have $1.99 plus tax. You can get all these skins. There's like four skins for a little bit of a price break for $4.49 right now, it says. Uh, originally it was 646, a little bit of savings there. I'm not gonna read the app right now. Three little dots here for the menu. You can change a measurement unit here from meters, feet, of course, or nautical miles if you want to. You can also uh, click on or off for using geographic north and also network fallback as well. So what this does, as it says there, it says perform a network call to fetch elevation at ground level. When altitude cannot be retrieved using GPS data, it will use data from your data plan. So very helpful there. We also have complementary apps to this app. So you can also get an altimeter, which is a separate app if you want to in others. And that's pretty much it. So right here, it says how to calibrate. That's what I mentioned earlier on. There you go. So calibrate your device by moving it several times in a figure eight pattern like this. So this increases the accuracy of the sensors in the phone. So we'll go back to the compass here. So just like this, a few times before you go looking for your directions. 
That way it ensures that the, the compass here, all the sensors are kind of fresh, ready to go. So really cool app here. Not too much to talk about it, really. It's pretty much just a compass and that's the name. Hit that like button for us. Let me know in the comments below if it's very useful for you or not. And subscribe if you're new to the channel. I'm Eddie Ray for the Tech Eddie Show. We'll see you back here next time. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.